hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Just got through listening to the 5150 show. Shout out to Corey Holcomb, Zoe Williams, and Darlene Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, peep game, man. Basically, Corey Holcomb, you know, the, for the first, uh, I say, 30 minutes of the show, he went in on Jason Whitlock. On how Jason Whitlock just came across as, you know, the biggest coon in history. But we all knew Jason Whitlock was a coon, and I've been saying for years that Jason Whitlock was a coon. Because that fake-ass Captain Sable whole shit he tried to pull, you know, talking about what Charlemagne did was dangerous and all that shit. And saying we already divided shit, but what she did was dangerous. Like I said, check your history, you fat fruitcake motherfucker. You know how many black men did met they demise in behind a, a white woman lying on them you, do, you don't want to have that conversation with me so Charlemagne was well within his right to roast Jason Whitlock and Christian Leahy because we all know what type of shit she tried to pull see I give Charlemagne all the credit in the world because I really haven't looked at it and analyzed what he did and I give him credit for that because Charlemagne is in, in a position where he could lose everything he, he has. And I give Charlemagne all the credit in the world. It took guts for him to say what he said. And, and he got straight to the point. Because a, a lot of niggas wouldn't have said what he said. So I have to give Charlemagne credit for that. And he took a chance on saying that. And I have to remember that he put his career on the line. Because like I said, it ain't too many black people that would have said some shit like that. But I guess Charlemagne is in a position now and he has enough clout where he can say stuff like that. So now I, I understand, you know, sometimes he had to build a certain stature to where he could get to where he is now. Would he have been able to say something like that about two or three years ago? Maybe not. But now maybe he had a point to where he can get away with that stuff because he has a book now i may check out his book called uh black privilege you know i may check it out and as i said before most people know i'm not a big charlemagne fan because i don't care for some of charlemagne antics some of the shit he's did over the years yes he did a good thing by taking up for labar ball but man Charlemagne did did some fucked up shit very disrespectful and rude to black people and particularly especially black people just rude just to be rude disrespectful just to be disrespectful but you know what I'm saying I'm not giving him a pass for that but I'm giving him his praise for what he did so you know I gotta give him his just due and Corey Holcomb he said a lot of shit that I've been saying about a lot of these female reporters. That Christian Leahy has no business being on that show. Because like I said, she don't know shit about sports. Too many times with these sports networks, they, they bringing these damn women on here who don't know shit about sports. Now, I don't have no fucking problem with a woman working on a sports network, but at least know something about sports. Because a lot of times these women that cover these NFL games, you can clearly tell they don't know shit about football. They don't know shit about baseball. They don't know shit about basketball. They don't know shit about hockey. And then they don't know shit about boxing. Michelle Beadle, when she was trying to be on the fight game, or should I say the fight lane, you could clearly tell she don't know that much about boxing. Based off how she interviewed people. Look at my interviews with Virgil Hunter and look at her interviews. And you tell me who knows more about boxing. Who's the clear winner in that area. And like I said, I don't want to hear no female females coming on here saying I'm misogynistic, I'm a male show. But I don't give a fuck about that shit. It is what it, what it is. If you don't know shit about sports, you shouldn't fucking have your ass on no sports network trying to talk sports. Because you basically taking a job from a motherfucker who should truly be there. And that's what these companies got to understand. I understand you want to be co-ed and you want to be gender friendly. But have a motherfucker on there that's qualified. Not because she fucked the boss to get her ass on the show. 
I mean, come on now, let's keep it 100. But anyway, man, like I said, man, it was some good shit. And Corey Holcomb, he roasted both of them. He said that Christian Leahy was a pill-popping-ass bitch. And she looked like she used drugs, and I agree. And he basically said Jason Whitlock was a fat job of the hunt, fat-ass, coon-ass nigga. And like he said, it ain't going to be no future in his cooning. You know, just like it ain't no future in your front by MC Breed, it ain't going to be no future in your cooning. Because a lot of these coons be thinking they safe doing all that, you know, yes sir, yes sir, it's been proven. Look what happened to Ray Lewis' ass, doing all that buck dancing and cooning and tap dancing, and still got his ass tossed from uh, ESPN. Now, keep in mind, Jason Whitlock's fat ass been fired before. He got removed from ESPN, and he got removed from Fox before. Because, one, he don't get along with nobody. And like I said, this man, Jason Whitlock, all this fat fuck then did, ever since I've been seeing this motherfucker, from, you know, doing, I mean, man, this dude has always attacked black people. And that punk ass shit, yeah, I'm glad T.O. ain't in the Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? Always hating. You know what I'm saying? Even to Kobe Bryant's last game where he scored 60 points, we already know it was a goodbye game, and we know it was a send-off game. Oh, Kobe 61 points was hot garbage. I mean, it was his last game. We already know that they – we already know what that game was all about. So get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. But once again, man, shout out to Corey Holcomb, man. Go listen to the 5150 show, man. Corey Holcomb, he went in on both that silly-ass Caucasian woman and that fat-ass nigga Jason Whitlock. I'm out.